and hopefully by summer 18, <laughs> I'm going to have these abs. I'm going to have these abs. Y'all, in Jesus' name, one for the Father, one for the Son, one for the Holy Ghost. I'm going to have these abs. So one thing my wife didn't tell y'all is she's also going to have these kids. She's going to have these kids. She's going to have these kids in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. You get abs first, though. <laughs>Hey everybody, my name is Brandon. And I'm Jasmine. And, and we're, we're the, the Gants. Gants. Thank you so much for joining us today on our YouTube channel, um, The Growing Gants. We're really, really excited to be starting this new venture in our life. So the purpose of our YouTube channel is to um, spend a lot of time focusing on relationships, specifically godly relationships and the way that God wants us to um, have relationships with our boyfriends and girlfriends, our husbands and our wives, but also um, sibling relationships and um, all other types of relationships. So we really love the foundation of building relationships with people. And so we will be focusing on that. Yeah, we're just looking to inspire couples, individuals, young people, um, believers of Christ. We're looking to inspire you and catch you up on our journey, but also um, let you in and have you be able to follow us on the rest of our journey. So, Yeah, and we'll also be doing a lot of fun things. And so today we're going to do just like a what? get to know you today. So we'll share some information about ourselves so that you guys feel super comfortable with us and get to know us. Um, and then I will specifically be doing a few girl chats just from um, a married woman's perspective, answering some questions, but then also just kind of having like a girl space where we can talk. And so whether that deals with like doing our hair or makeup or just sitting down for coffee and talking about real stuff. Um, and I love to cook, so I'll do a few um, healthy cooking classes and talk about how I meal prep for Brandon um, and our lifestyle and health changes as we develop and grow. Yeah, and I'll also be talking about um, men and how you can do your makeup so that you <laughs> men, how you can do your makeup, how you can fix your hair up for date night, how you can. Um, how do you do your makeup? Well, I'm going to tell the guys. I mean, you can tune in if you want to see it as well. Oh, okay. You know, I'm going to teach you how to um, properly dress for the occasion. No, I'm kidding, man. Um, <laughs> you're just going to get 100 percent authentic. The Gantz. Get a chance to see how we live our lives, how we love each other, how we grow with each other, and just all of the fun and exciting things that we have to offer. And we are also doggy parents as well. So we have a two-year-old American Bulldog, PJ, PJ. And you will get to see a lot of PJ, a lot of Brandon, and a lot of Jasmine. Yeah. You beautiful. Now smile for him real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> shout, shout out to Mr. High Spot. That's my guy. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Oh, my God. I can't. Anyway. Um, so we've realized that one of our reoccurring themes of our relationship uh. is growth. Um, and growth is an extremely important part of life. And sometimes um, it can be uncomfortable. And so um, we found ourselves doing a lot of growing in the past um, couple of years as we were just... Um, going through the courting phase and then we were going through the dating phase and then engagement and then into being married and we're in newlywed so we've been married for three months um and a week three months and a week yeah um so we'll be just speaking to you guys from this perspective of how we're growing through all those phases and what we're learning at each stage obviously each stage will be a little bit different but Absolutely. we really just want to bring you guys along um and show you our growth and hopefully it inspires you to do some growing in your own personal lives absolutely well you know a lot of times we want to we want to get the end result of the growth, right? We, right. Want, we want to get to the end so fast, right? We don't want yeah. to go through the process of growing. That's how I am with my abs right absolutely. now. Absolutely. And growing hurts, right? Growing hurts. So you will get to see the good, the bad, um, the ugly. Hopefully not too ugly. Um, but, yeah, growing hurts. So that's what we want to do. We want to bring you guys along to see the entire journey. Yeah. Without further ado, we're going to hop right into our get to know you questions, baby. Yes, you start? I will start. Okay. Hmm. 
Where were you born? I was born in Bad Konstadt, West Germany. Yeah, but where that is? <laughs> West Germany. <laughs> West Germany? Yes. Um, Fort Stuttgart. My dad was in the military. Mm-hmm. Very beautiful around this time of year. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? Uh, the ability to heal. Why? Um, because I feel like that's something that could touch everybody. Everybody experiences some type of pain. Um, and so if, if I had the ability to heal, I would be able to like help the largest span of people. What's your favorite color? Green. What color green? Um, I like like an emerald green. Hmm. Yeah. What's the best thing about your husband? He already knows what I'm going to say. I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. But I'm listening. <laughs> Brandon is very, like, goofy and relaxed. And so we're getting to know Jasmine right now. He likes to play around. <laughs> you know, he likes to joke. He likes to meet people. He's very sociable and, um, like, open and honest. He just loves to meet people. And he reminds me so much of my grandpa. So you have a great personality. And that's oh, nice. thank you, baby. Yeah. That's, that's dope. That's dope. So now y'all know about me, so you need to know anything else about me. Um, if you could be a superhero, what superhero would you be? I don't know anything about superheroes. I guess I'd have to be Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman? Is that the only woman superhero you know? Yeah. Okay, I got you. Favorite <laughs> hobby? Uh, it's becoming cooking. Cooking. Cooking, I look, cooking is like my jam right now. Favorite type of music? I'm eclectic. I don't know if I have a favorite type of music. Um, I really, really love like show tunes and musical theater music. I mean, it's so geeky. I'm going to say I really, really love that. But I also love 80s hardcore rap music. I love my 80s rap. Who's your favorite artist from the 80s? Rappers. Uh, Ice Cube NWA, probably. Straight out of Compton. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so, I like my gangster rap, and, but, but most of the time I only listen to it when I'm working out. Okay, can you flow? No. You can't flow? No, I can sing. <coughs> I can sing. <coughs> you can sing? Okay, all right. All right. I just wanted to know. I can't flow. How long have you been married? Three months and one week. Why did you get married? Uh, he asked, and I felt sorry for him. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes! Because there's no better love than pity love. I'm yeah. telling you. They don't understand. They don't know, baby. Pity they, will make you do some things you never They don't understand. You, you know, sometimes. Somebody yeah. That leaves their clothes on the floor. Yes. You know what I mean? Sometimes you got to see the bad and just be like, you know what? Give me, give me, give me all that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want all that. Yeah, Bring that bad over here. <laughs> your turn. All right. Are you ready? Brandon Keith. Yeah. That's me. Um, where were you born? I was born in Minneapolis, Minnesota. North Minneapolis. The hood. The hood, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who's your favorite celebrity? Jamie Foxx. Oh, I love Jamie Foxx. Um, what is your wife's best characteristic? My wife's best character characteristic. Hmm. Oh, you have so many. Her heart. She has a huge heart, a huge love for people. She's not as outgoing as me, but <laughs> <laughs> but she um the the people that she loves, she loves hard. She takes care of them, and she's just. I mean, women are natural nurturers, anyways. But you're such a great friend, and you're a great person to the people that you love and the people that you're close to. Thanks, honey. Favorite rapper? Oh, man. Favorite rapper? I like rappers that are real poetic. Probably. Um, oh, Kendrick Lamar. Why didn't but, I say uh, that? But I'm not a huge rap person. That's the thing. But um, I would have to say Common. Oh, I like Common. I would have to say Common just because of the messages that he has in his raps. I'm just not a big rap guy, though. Mm -hmm. Favorite TV show? Favorite TV show? Mm -hmm. Oh, hands down, the Jamie Foxx show. The best, the funniest, 
Yeah, that mug was dope. It was. I still really love Martin, though. I mean, Martin, Martin, it was all right. It was all right. You can step. Who can step? Step. Here I come. There I go. Here I go. <laughs> Tonight's the night. <laughs> Check out my flow. Um, if you could have a superpower, which one would you choose? If I could have a superpower, which one would I choose? Oh, man. I, 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 to be able to read minds. Well, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. On demand. That would have helped you a lot when we first started dating. It would have helped me a whole <laughs> lot. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. And not just everybody minds at the same time, but I want to be able to pick and choose whose mind like I want to read, read, when I want to read it. Yeah. Absolutely. I want to know what you're thinking. Okay. What you thinking. I would hate if you could read minds. Like, I mm-hmm. wouldn't want to have a conversation with you. Hmm? You want to want to have a conversation with me? No. <laughs> exactly, but yeah, I, that's that's what I would do. I would be able to remind. So. Okay, what is your hidden talent? My hidden talent, mm-hmm. <sighs> probably singing. Did she make a face? Because I'm not gonna look over there. Did she make a face, y'all? Y'all tell me that later. I mean, okay, so not just ordinary singing, but singing in the shower. Because when I sing <laughs> in the shower, okay, yeah, laugh. Go ahead and laugh, Jasmine. Go ahead and laugh. I gotta be in the shower. I got to be hidden. <laughs> but singing in the shower, hands yeah. down. I mean, it, you know, the way the sound bounce off the walls, you know. Um, but my hidden talent, I would say singing in the shower. Thank you. And bowling. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and bowling. And bowling. <laughs> See, people, be, they, you know, they, they don't know how good I can bowl. Yeah, they do. People would never guess I bowled a, you know. I ain't going to tell y'all. <sighs> That's best rude. childhood memory. <laughs> my best childhood memory? Uh-huh. Oh, man. Um, so me and my cousins used to go to the park. We used to go to the playground. And we used to play this game called Tag Can't Touch the Ground. Shout out to my older cousin, Mark, because That's he came up with play. the name. We used to play Tag You Cannot Touch the Ground. So okay. we had to hop back from, you know. Slide to slide, mm-hmm. you know, had monkey bars to slide. You know, it, it was yeah. it was extremely dangerous. It wasn't dangerous. Okay, it wasn't dangerous. <laughs> it was extremely dangerous, and we probably shouldn't have been playing at that age, but still, I would play tag, can't touch the ground today. Y'all should go try. You know what, kids? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, jeans or yoga pants? Yoga pants. I could look at yoga pants all day on you. Oh, you're talking about me wearing? Yeah. This yeah. is about you, remember? Yoga pants. I love my yoga pants, too. Yoga pants. Where do you where do you purchase your yoga pants for all those people who want to know? Fashion Nova. Oh, Fashion Nova. That's a good place to get it. Thank you, baby. I get workout leggings. You do. You look, like Fashion Nova? You do look good in those. I do. Yep. Thank you. Um, yeah. You wear Nike leggings. I need you to be for real, for real. What you mean? To work out in. What leggings do you work out in? When I have to buy those, I will. <laughs> that's what I go to fashion. What over. do you wear now, <laughs> weirdo? Those were given to me free, college. What do you wear now? Nobody asked how you got them. <laughs> <laughs> Jeans or yoga pants, sweatpants. <laughs> Sweat, that's true. You wear sweatpants a lot. Um, H&M. Yeah, Forever those are 21. Then um, the men's section in H&M sweatpants are so comfortable that I bought some, too. And now we get them mixed up with foods as soon as all the time. I just wear them on now. You, now you wear them on. I'm like, wear where, my, where my sweatpants at? I should have got a smaller size. I can always tell the ones that are mine's and hers because mine's have this stench to them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is your ultimate life's dream? My ultimate life dream mm-hmm. is to um, make a difference, to do whatever I can to make a difference. Um, in the lives of others, people around me. I love literally everyone. I've never met a stranger. Um, so I just want to impact their lives the best way I can. Um, let's see. How long have you been married? I've been married for three months and a week. In a week. Do you like being married so far? It's an adjustment. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I, lo- I love being married. Not, there's not a like to it. I love being married. I mean, in fact, I was talking to a friend today, and he used the perfect um, words to describe it. He said it's a beautiful struggle. Um, hmm. And, yeah, I can honestly sit here and say I love being married. 
Mm -hmm. Did you want to be married before me? No. He didn't, y'all. Back in high school, he's like, I'm never getting married. I'm like, well, what are we doing then? In college, I said the same thing. Same thing in college. Um, the people would like to know, what is the story behind your hoop earrings? My hoop earrings? Mm -hmm. The story behind my <laughs> <laughs> Is there a story? I don't, I don't know. know. You know, mo most guys don't wear hoops these days. This is... Guys wear hoops these days. Would you like to name someone? Absolutely. Okay. Brandon Keith Gant. <laughs> uh, thank you. So the story behind my hoops is, you know, um, I jack my wife's style a lot. So you see her hoops. So I said, you know what? You tried to get some big ones at first. I was like, yeah, I tried to get that size. Your size. Some big hoops. Your size. No, I was just going for the whole, um, the whole old school look. You know, guys with the hot tops and the, the hoops and the gold chains. Thank you guys so much for um, hanging out with us and going through these 21 plus questions and getting to know us. We really hope that you guys stick around, um, subscribe and hang out with us. Our hope is to post one video a week and those will be on Thursday. So every single Thursday there should be a new video up. If you guys have any questions or you want to get in contact with us, you can find us at why not us. Um, 16 at gmail.com and that's um, that'll be in the link below so that'll make it a lot easier for you guys to find um, and if you have any videos that you'd like to see definitely let us know in the comments below don't forget to rate comment subscribe and we will see you guys very soon thank you bye